Hey guys, welcome back to iConcert Phones. Today I'm going to review the newly released Tobman UDS-035. I'm using the Tobman UDS-033 for 4 months, which works great using a magnetic 100W USB-C adapter. So I'm curious to see how well the new UDS-035 will perform. Let's go! On the back, the new Thunderbolt 4 docking station comes with various ports, including three USB-A ports with 2.0 and 3.0 standard, a Gigabyte LAN port, a DC input, two USB-C Thunderbolt ports, and finally, one HDMI and one display port. There is also a small grill for heat dissipation. On the front, there are two USB-A and one USB-C ports with USB 3.2 standard a TF SD card 4.0 reader and a 3.5 mm headphone jack. The power button is nicely integrated into the front panel with a status LED positioned between the notch. One thing Tobin 1 does great is the design. It comes in a great looking aluminum shell with Thunderbolt and Tom 1 logos on the sides. On the front and rear, we see a black panel, which makes it look sleek and timeless. What I missed on the Tobin 1 UDS-033 was a magnetic mounting option. Here we get one. You can use the Tobin 1 UDS-035 either horizontally or vertically. The magnetic stand can be installed under the desk using some double-sided tape. And if you want to access the docking station, you can just grab it and pull off. For the next development, it would be great to have two screw holes to mount it under the desk. Next to a fully capable Thunderbolt for tunneling with 40 gigabits per second, we can use up to three external monitors. The HDMI and DisplayPort options are self-explaining. For the third monitor, you need to use the second USB-C Thunderbolt port. The TF and SD card readers work pretty well. I can easily transfer my pictures and videos taken with my Sony a6300 to my computer. If you want to get the most out of your laptop, this docking station is a must-have for you. As you can see here, my Dell Latitude laptop and convertible don't have either a LAN port or an SD card reader. Thanks to the included 90W charging brick, the Thunderbolt 4 dock charges your device simultaneously, ensuring you stay powered up throughout your work or entertainment session. Note that the included charging brick cable is US standard. Top one includes a US to European adapter, but I prefer to have a direct European cable. So I bought a so-called CLE Europe cable. The USB-C Thunderbolt 4 port transfers file up to 40 gigabytes per second. The three USB ports with 3.2 standard supports 10 gigabytes per second and the USB 3.0 port supports 5 gigabytes per second. If you also want to know the transfer speed rate of the two USB A 2.0 ports, it's only 480 megabytes per second. These two ports are for peripherals like a mouse or keyboard. The TF and SD card reader supports up to 263 megabytes per second. I transferred a 7 GB file into around 40 seconds with almost constantly 170 MB per second, which is the maximum transfer speed of my SD card. In addition, the LAN port supports speeds up to 1 GB per second. I have a gigabit internet connection from Vodafone Germany and I easily reach 943 MB download and 55 MB upload. 
most laptops supporting Thunderbolt 3 or 4 or USB 4 or fully featured USB-C are compatible with this stock. In the Apple world, MacBooks with M1, M2, M3 and Intel chips can only extend to one external monitor, whereas Mac OS users can extend up to two monitors using either Thunderbolt and HDMI or Thunderbolt and DisplayPort. In conclusion, the top Manu DSO 35 proves to be a versatile and high-performing docking station, enhancing your computing experience with an array of features and thoughtful design. From its comprehensive port selection to its sleek aluminum shell, convenient magnetic mounting options, this docking station excels in both functionality and aesthetics. It supports up to three external monitors, lighting fast transfer speeds and seamless compatibility with a wide range of laptops, including the MacBook Pro lineup. The UDS 035 is a standout choice for users seeking to maximize productivity and connectivity. I tested it on my Dell Latitude 5320, which supports Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4, and it works perfectly. My second test device was the Dell Latitude 7200, 2-in-1 convertible with Thunderbolt 3. However, I did encounter an issue with the Dell Latitude 7200 where one of the monitors, I think it was this one, uh, was locked into 640 to 480 pixels. Uh, and this problem was caused by using an HDMI to display port cable. Switching to HDMI to HDMI and DisplayPort to DisplayPort cable fixed this issue. However, there are a few points to note. The status LED is very bright and can disturb some users. Additionally, if you switch off the power outlet and turn it back on, the dock automatically powers on without needing to press the power button. To power off the docking station, you need to press and hold the power button for a few seconds. The magnetic stand is great, but adding two screw holes for under desk mounting would be an excellent enhancement. Whether you're a professional user seeking to streamline your workflow or a multimedia enthusiast looking to expand your workstation, the Tobman UDS or 35 is indeed a must have accessory for unlocking the full potential of your laptop. Thank you for tuning in to watch my review video of the Tobin 1 UDS 035. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribe to my channel to show your support. Stay tuned for more exciting reviews and content. Catch you soon.